Hey fam, uh, this is James. I'm back on a, uh, another day. Um, it's Saturday. Um, this is usually the the, the big day uh, for food, um, so I'm just chilling out. You know, they have mobile showers um, here in the morning. I missed it. Um, I, I did see them packing up, but they have mobile showers that they bring out to the homeless community. Um, which is amazing. Uh, and a lot of this is charity work. I'm just, I am so just, just uh, kind of taken aback because of our lack of participation uh, with our government. Um, um, the ones who we elect, who spend all this money on so many different things, taxpayers, etc. Um, the homeless really just basically rely on, um, you know, um, people. The, the 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 love or whatever it is that they're doing um, uh, of uh, volunteers and people who want to help um, in their own way I'm sure um, and yes I do know about the social programs and etc cetera, etc cetera. however um, you know uh, if you've ever uh, been on EBT or whatever it is you realize that you have to basically be tracked by the government you have a very limited amount of money and supply um, and you kind of have to go out of your way um, to get those benefits um, and uh, not only that you're basically just paying back into um, a system of slavery um, and so uh, that's why I kind of um, believe that this type of um, work is, is much more beneficial than being a part of the system because people come and help and you don't have to give an ID you don't have to show um, who you are you don't have to be put down in a database um, you can remain anonymous and still receive food and uh, support and help from just good people. Um, you know, if uh, nature, this is kind of like a, a more natural way. It's like, you know, say you're a traveler and um, someone is just giving out free drinks and apples on the side of the road. All right. It's simple. It's very similar to that. So some nice person decided just to set up um, free water, a huge, you know, water bottle full of ice and, you know, for travelers, they notice that people um, ride their bikes on 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 um, a bike trail, and so they they you know out of their goodwill decide to put a, a big thermos with ice water in it, or bananas. It is similar to that, and no ID required, none of that type of stuff. Anyway, so I just kind of want I want to uh, thank those people for doing those things, and yes, I do know that some of them are negative entities, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they'll be sorted out in their own time and uh, that's what I kind of want to talk about this uh, dream that I had um, today the sorting out um, for those of you who are in the know you realize that there is um, uh, it is this this battle is a lot more complicated than the face that meets the eye if you think about how complicated our judicial system is, our electoral system, our educational system. Um, you know, there's that big Ronald Reagan building over there so that people can go and get IDs um, or, you know, um, become citizens or whatever. Just think about all the that process work, that busy work that has been created um, to give people jobs, to, to enslave people, bureaucracy, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think these creatures, these entities, have done the same thing in the spiritual world. <laughs> they've they've deviated from the natural flow and created confusion. All right, and just chaos, and not a good type of chaos. Um, you know, we call it we might call it chaos. It's probably something completely different. Um, I've experienced something like this um, early on in my meditation cycles, and it was promptly stolen. Um, but I felt something that seemed more like um uh i forgot what i actually s called it but it was like um uh, uh, uh like it was like a universal instantaneous um uh reality like imagine like all of realities not all but your realities converging all at once and it was infinitely, um, you know, um, uh, infinitely growth, you know, infinite growth almost. Like it, like it could expand in any direction at any time infinitely, but instantaneous. So like infinite instantaneous, instantaneous um, reality, you know, <laughs> now. The inst infinite instantaneous now. Um, and it was amazing. Um, and it seemed 
to be a lot different um, compared to this this weird bureaucracy. I mean, when you got police, think about police officers and them just patrolling everywhere, looking at. I mean, there's been TV crews around here lately, um, and that's why there's not a, a, a strong police presence. Um, obviously, uh, you know, they fear exposure. They they because they're harassment. They harass people. They they there's no other. They're not if they're not helping. They're, they're looking for some way to hurt you. That's just the reality of it. They're coming through here not to, hey, let's volunteer. If you've got any issues, you got any concerns, you need any rides anywhere, um, is everything okay? No. What they're doing is harassing people um, and driving through and trying to figure out different ways to hurt them. Okay? Um, and so that's why the police presence is not welcome here, um, or probably anywhere, unless you're a very rich person and you realize that you, the law does not apply to you, or, um, and that's the truth regardless. And the law is made up, it doesn't matter. Again, it's all bureaucracy bullshit. And um, I feel that a lot of this stuff has also been um, put into the spiritual realm also. Um, this weird confusion, these... Um, entities have created that hierarchy where, <laughs> you know, um, people just can't go about their business. They've got to go through these, these, they can't just live their lives. They can't just go through their experience. They've got to um, participate in the lie. Um, and these beings created this lie. And, um, you know, if you don't participate in it with them, they punish you probably death, probably sucking out your energy, something disgusting and evil. Anyway, so, um, you know, I've, uh, unfortunately, without my own, without permission, um, they have subjected me to their own spiritual um, bureaucracy, where they try to stop me, stop people from experiencing the light or, you know, the, the energy, the beauty of nature, of the Creator. Um, they try to stop you from expressing yourself. They steal the energy. They use it for themselves. They use it for their own creation. You know, all that sort of stuff. Because you don't want to be gay. Because you don't want to worship their demons. Because you don't want to participate in their fake system. Because you don't want to kill. Because you want to be a better person. Um, they have strict rules that, um, that they use to attack people who are a part of that. And it's very difficult to be a part of the system and be spiritual at the same time and I'm sorry it's I've lived both lives and I was literally attacked because of it and um, this is what the stream is about um, you know I consistently um, have these negative entities trying to uh, um, I guess take my spiritual essence um, take my blood do some cloning um, you know if you get mysterious mosquito bites you know, and if you're part of the system, it's most likely they're trying to steal your blood and steal your essence in some way um, to recre recreate a different reality with you um, without your permission and without your knowledge. Um, and so because of the greatest one, I'm able to dream about these things um, and interact, full interaction. Um, and uh, so what recently happened, um, which is something that just uh, blew my mind and, um, you know, uh, maybe a pathway to our freedom, um, uh, you know, that at least some form of sovereignty where they can leave you the fuck alone and stop touching you. Um, I uh, basically, in the dreamland, um, you know, uh, ended up uh, being attacked by my ex-mother-in-law, which is really funny. It seems like she might have been a um, an a, a pl player, and I, I definitely saw this towards the end of uh, my relationship with my my ex-wife. Um, her mother would be, started to become extremely aggressive, especially when my daughter was uh, born. Um, you know, she started to become very, very aggressive towards me, um, and I'm guessing um, she was taken over at that point, or whatever entity was in her had decided to come to light. Um, and so they were being very negative and, bear, and very uh, overbearing um, to the point where I had to kick her out of my house. Um, and it was just some very disgusting behavior. Um, very childish as well, which is which I found very strange because she's a you know older woman, um, but very childish. And uh, um, anyway, so this entity, whatever it was, um, I just decided to confront me because um, they they keep coming with this theme where they want me to. Um, and again, they steal your blood, and so it's a little complicated. Um, 
they steal your blood and try to create a different reality where whatever it is that you're doing here that they don't like, they try to fix it so that you're doing exactly what they want and they will use mind control or whatever. And so you, I experienced this in the dream state. So, uh, you know, I'm back with my ex and um, uh, unknowingly and participating in that reality. And, um, you know, uh, unfortunately, uh, I got to the point where I was like, you know, in my, it's somehow, because of the greatest one, I'm able to jump over that, that mind control and decide to move on with a different person. And so that whole theme of them trying to force me to participate um, in that lie uh, was skipped. And so I was able to move on and in front of them, you know, start making relation, a relationship with a different person so that they can see without a doubt that I'm not interested. <laughs> and so others can witness that as well because for some reason they have an agenda and um, that agenda, they try to make it supersede whatever it is that you're, you personally want. You, what, what you want is irrelevant compared to their agenda. Anyway, so uh, the mother-in-law was yelling at me, screaming, you know, very angry uh, how I disrespected her daughter or whatever. And then I explained to her that I know exactly what she is. And, uh, you know, I have no interest in participating in their lives. Uh, promptly, I was shot <laughs> and m moved into uh, spirit form. And then I was given the opportunity to remove that entity from that space, <laughs> from that reality. Um, and I, all I can say is that was all good. All right. Um, the ability to, to defend yourself on the spiritual plane is all good. Um, and uh, because it, there's got to be a stopgap, there's got to be a place where um, they cannot continue to manipulate you and hurt you and do things without your permission. There's got to be a place where everything stops, where your love for nature and your reality and your need to, to move on so that you can have a better life, that, that place has to, has to come um, where they cannot manipulate you anymore. There has to be a, a spot where they have to stop. Um, and I think that we're getting closer and closer to that spot, that, that, that time where we can express ourselves without fear and retribution. Um, fear of their retribution. And I have to tell you that anytime I, I, um, uh, you know, I do anything, mind control comes, then the negative entity um, starts talking and, uh, you know, enacting their vengeance. And some people say it's the AI system um, that's backboned by a djinn, you know, like the djinn somehow is actually the AI, but if the AI controls, it's like a computer system that controls and makes decisions for all these different people and all these different things, but it's really the djinn, um, you know, that is working through it. Um, I, I would believe that um, specifically because of my personal experience with them and, uh, you know, uh, their behavior and, um, you know, its ability to quickly um, utilize um, the, the uh, electronic infrastructure. And not only that, all the other agents that it has, it has to have some type of link between all the agents that are around. And, you know, because personally, it's, it just makes no sense how so many are around and so it means that either they're already connected and they don't know it or they're bio bots or whatever um, but the, this entity has an ability to interact with them and jump in and basically use them as a, a proxy and so it's uh, it basically takes no responsibility on its own um, it just uses people and their creations um, which is the original sin to uh, enact their agenda and their and their desires and fuck you if it uh, if it destroys your life and anything that you want. Um, anyway, so recently I've been given uh, the vision and the opportunity to fight back, and I hope that all of you are uh, getting to that stage where we no longer have to put up with their bullshit. And if they want to fuck with us, they get fucking bent up. And that's what I gotta say. Peace out, fam.